Hey YouTube, so today I have another tobacco recommendation and this is a brand that I've had very little experience with until about a week ago when I bought four of their tins and that's Daughters and Ryan Tobacco Company, also known as Two Daughters. Um, I got four tins here, I've smoked them all. I'm going to spend most of my time talking about the one at the bottom, but let me give you a quick intro to the top three here. The first one is Don Giovanni and this is their cigar leaf blend and they make two different versions of this, the Cigarro and the Cigaretto. I got the Cigarro, which means 100% of this is cigar leaf. Now I know what you're thinking, 100% cigar leaf sounds really potent, but this is very, very mild, and that's why I like it, and that's why I'm interested in the other version, which is the Cigaretto. Cigaretto is 50% of this, and 50% Virginia. And I think that'd make for a very interesting blend. By itself, this is also interesting, um, but I kind of prefer the, uh, the mixture of some Virginias and cigar leaf. But I'm pleasantly surprised that Cigar Leaf can be this mild. That was the biggest takeaway from this tin. Uh, the second one is Three Sales. And for those of you who have actually seen this before, I know what you're thinking. Uh, this probably has a reputation of a roll your own tobacco only. And you're going to see why in a second. It's because of the cut. And to us pipe smokers, this might seem scary. And I got to admit, I was kind of skeptical putting this in my pipe. I was like, oh, this is going to taste like cigarettes. It's going to be harsh, da 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 da. Um, pleasantly surprised. It was a quick smoke, but it is 100% pipe tobacco. There was no, and I smoked this um, over a Reddit hangout, there was no hint of uh, a cigarette taste, no ashiness. Um, it was actually a, a really decent tobacco. So definitely recommend three sales, uh, especially if, um, especially for guys on the go that only have time for a 10, 15 minute smoke and want something that you never have to relight. That's probably the, the best thing about this. Good taste, solid taste, no ashiness, and it lights up like a scarecrow. There's just no relights whatsoever. Uh, this next one here is Two Timer, and this reminds me a lot of some of my favorite C&D blends. It is a combination of uh, Burley and Virginia, and it's it just has that classic kind of C&D taste to it. If I was kind of blindfolded and did a blind taste test, I would say, and I can't pick out the exact c and blend, but I would say it, it fits right in there with um, in between a lot of my favorite c and blends. We definitely recommend Two Timer. And the last one is really the focus of this video. And I'm adjusting my chair because I'm trying to think of the words to describe this. Um, the last one is London Dock. Now, these are all about somewhere in the mid $5 range. So they are cheaper than uh, C&D, definitely cheaper than McClelland. However, these are 40 gram tins, not 50 gram tins. So instead of 1.76 ounces, or instead of two ounces like you get with a C&D tin, these are uh, about uh, 1.4 something ounces. Long story short, when you do the dollars per ounce calculation, uh, these come out to be about 50 cents to 75 cents cheaper per ounce uh, than the C&D small tins. Just a little point of fact. That's different from London Dock. London Dock is actually about twice as expensive. Um, it's going to be $11, $12, but I had to get it just to try it out. Um, because when I read the description, it just it seemed wild, and when I smoked it, it tasted wild. So, a little bit of background on London Dock. London Dock was a blend uh, made by Middleton, I believe, a long time ago, and it was made for a long time, but it hasn't been around forever. So, I talked to Mark Ryan about all these blends, I got a little more story on, on this one. And uh, several years ago, he was approached by uh, a Chinese businessman that gave him the recommendation or, the re or made a request to see if he could replicate that old formula. So what Mark Ryan did, he went and looked to, to see if the trademark was available on London Dock, and it was, so he bought it. And then he tracked down as close as he could uh, the old recipe, made a couple batches, um, had some close personal friends try them, those who had actually tried the original recipe, and he finally got what he thought was probably the closest uh, he would ever get to the original recipe, and that's what this is. And the flavor, I'm gonna light it up here in a second. The flavor, I wish I could compare it to something that we've all smoked, but um, I can only compare it to, in strength, I can only compare it to uh, to two blends that some of you have smoked, and that would be the, the the heavy casing that you get on a GLP's Cairo, um, that mixture of pomegranate and citrus uh, flavor there, which is really pungent, really strong. I'd say that would be close to the strength of this, but not quite. 
And the other example would be Oak Alley, um, also made by Cornell and Deal. Uh, that is really, really strong, really heavily cased. That kind of comes close, but this is darker than either of those two. And it, it's also just a very different blend. But this is probably the, the strongest cased tobacco I've had that still has a full body underneath it. This, there's nothing light about this whatsoever. It's a mixture of uh, the flavors I get are like dark raisin plum. Obviously, there's a lot of rum in here. And what Mark told me is the, the, the flavoring that really makes it stand out, that makes it unique. It's not deer tongue, but it's a flavoring that was supposed to replicate or come close to what deer tongue naturally tastes like. And I don't think it actually tastes like your deer tongue. For those of you who don't like deer tongue, I would still recommend this because this does not taste like gentleman caller. This does not taste like crooner. This tastes like rum and raisins and fig and booziness all on top of like a, a, a Virginia with a dark fired Kentucky base. Although I know there's no dark fired Kentucky in here. It's just, um, it's just a sandwich just dripping with rum syrup and raisins. That's all I can, that's about all I can get. You know, the other flavor I'm getting is maybe just a hint of anisette and maybe a hint of licorice. Um, it's such a kaleidoscope of flavors, it's, it's really hard to pin down and it changes throughout the bowl as well. So I'll say this, there's two types of pipe smokers I'd recommend the London Dock for. Number one, classic aromatic smokers. That's a no-brainer. But number two, and I think this is more important, guys who consider themselves, much like myself, non-aromatic smokers, but once in a great while, maybe once or twice a year, we'll find one or two blends that we'll make an exception for and they, they kind of have a soft spot for because they're aromatic but with a really, really deep base, a really strong tobacco base. Um, if you're one of those guys like me, I would also recommend this. And if you got a friend who has some, even if you don't think you're gonna like it, you gotta try it. It's, it's one of the few blends I could say that I think everyone should try, take one puff of, just to say you had it, uh, just to get the experience. It's that unique.